Hello guys and today I'll show you uh, one way how you can uh, use uh, different uh, scale of grids in one floor plan in Revit without any links like Aftercut, Revit links and other some plugins uh, just only with Revit tools and let's start you can open now your own project or you can open the sample project as I will open it. I will use the sample project. So uh, let's start from the uh, from the first thing. We will go to the plan. As you see, we cannot have different grids uh, on this um, on this file because uh, Revit uh, uh, using only one type of grids. Uh, what I mean the grids. If I will have here two for 200 scale, so I cannot change bubble here. Is if I will change the bubbles here, it will change here. So, what you can do? The first thing what we sh should do that we will go to design option. First, you need to create a uh, new set. Let's rename that. It will be more understandable for you. It will be just grids. Uh, the second thing we will change option. Uh, oh, sorry, we will create one new option and now we will change the name of option. Let's make it 1 to 100 and the second option we will rename to 1 to 200. It's you can do to until 2000 or 5 billion uh, as you want. Just I need, for example, now only two, sc two scale. Okay, and let's close up it. Uh, what we should go what what we should do the next thing next we will create uh, We will go to the first level and now I will create the view template template here uh, Let's uh, choose this one I'll copy just name and copy the like it will be 1 to 200 and this one I'll rename to 1 to, uh, to 100 sorry like this uh, 200 uh, and let's change the scale of course we want some difference the what the next thing let's go to the architectural plan 1 to 200, 1 to 100 sorry guys uh, and after that I'll go to some edit and design option and I will choose for that one 100 and let's click OK and for that one I'll choose 200 this one and let's click OK and again OK let's copy this view duplicate it duplicate with detail done uh, this uh, will be view template uh, 200 and this will be 100 as you see difference difference you, you can see now the, yeah different bubbles uh, grids and it looks so messy because it's using the only one grid. So what about the grids? The st step number two. Now we will change the grids. First, we should delete original grids. Uh, my so kind rec recommendation: if you are afraid to delete your grids, just save your original file somewhere else. Make two copy, three copy. I don't know, like uh, as uh, 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 as uh, as much as you want. And after that, just delete the grids. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm understand what I'm doing, so that's why I, I can delete uh, grids right now, and uh, not, I'm not afraid that. So I just select everything, filter, check none, grids with grids here the grids. Okay, done. Now uh, I select all the grids, and first I'll copy the grids, and after that I'll delete it. Done. I don't have any grids in my project. Now I am going from the main model to to 100 here. Okay, and now modify clipboard and align to current view. So my grids again back here. Let's go now to the level uh, to le level one copy, and let's copy grids not here. We will choose now 200 because as you remember for that view template we're using not 100 we're using 200 so I'm choosing 200 and I also 
paste uh, grids here, but nothing changed. Of course, because we didn't change our grids. So what we should do now? Just select your grid, go to the edit type, and as you see the name, M grid head cycle. Let's go to the family. Family, annotative symbols, M grid here, M grid head. Let's go and we'll change it here. First, I'll make it two, two times smaller. Let's make it not four millimeter. Let's make it two millimeter. And same for this bubble. I'm choosing this bubble and let's make it to three millimeter. Nice. I'll save it. Let's save it first. Oh my God. Save it. I already have here, but I will save. Save. Yes. Do you want to? And load and close this project. Done. So what the next? Next, we should be changed. Let's go to the main. Let's go to the our level one. Uh, let's change the name because it will be easy to understand you. One to two hundred. So now you will understand this one to two hundred and this one to one hundred. Yes, I want to change it. So let's go to two hundred. And now uh, again design option. I will to choose two hundred. Now I can modify the grids. So choose one grid, go to edit type, duplicate it. Let's name it like three millimeter without anything, just three millimeter, 3.5, doesn't matter. Okay. And change this cycle to the other one, 200, this one. And okay. As you see, we have now two different grids. Let's choose all of them. And let's change it to this one. Done. Now we'll go to the primer view. Let's go now to the our plan. Let's delete these two views. And see. Now look at. This is our original plan. And this is other one with different grids. As you see, the magic is working. Guys, uh, maybe my way is not clear. Maybe um, this is uh, this is way to using different uh, grids uh, in one, for example, project. Uh, not right, but this is my way. What I found it. Uh, I don't like use uh, grids uh, from AfterCut file or making like different uh, Revit links. Uh, no, I just trying to find a way to use uh, uh, Revit tools inside one project without any links or any like plugins or uh, maybe even Dynamo. If you know the way better or maybe you know how to do right, you can always write me about that. Uh, I will be so happy. But now I just sharing with you what I found it. Maybe it will be useful for you. Maybe it will be so trash and rubbish. You can throw it uh, and make me don't 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 put dislike. I'm trying to share with you everything what I know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.